11 Hyundai Sonata. Customer states lost power and died out while driving down the road. A little further into this, but we, long story short, we pulled her battery out, put a known good in it because we hooked three jump packs to it and it barely wanted to roll over. So the car almost caught on fire. It started smoking from the starter area. So we busted out big Jorge here. And we scoped each cylinder. Each piston is moving up and down. If I go down the oil cap, let me, you can see the timing chain here. I'm going to have Lee roll it over and watch. You can see the timing chain moving, but do you hear that noise? Where my pry bar is, is the starter. And listen. The noise seems to be coming from the starter. Oh, definitely coming from the starter. But you can see the ground terminal on the starter. It's kind of fried. Yep, you can definitely see where it got hot. So we're going to pull the starter off and retest. I got the starter off. We're rolling her over. And no noise. But it's still rolling over really hard. I hate to say it, but I think something in this engine is, is locked up. It may need an engine or a rebuild. Belt off before we decide to condemn this thing. We got the belt off and she's still turning over really hard. Wondering, she does have oil. Alright, we're pulling the oil pan on the Hyundai. We're going to see if we got any rod bearing damage. And here's a pro tip for the new guys. Leave a couple bolts partially unthreaded. You see how it's silicone like this? You don't want to have all the bolts out and then pop it down even though the oil's drained. Especially on a trans pan, you end up getting soaked in oil. Honda Bond, I swear. Hey, right, we're getting her to separate finally. Dang, I swear they use Honda Bond too. Finally. Alright, got her moving. Brad's pulling her down. Hoo hoo. That's lovely. Oh, yeah. You can definitely see the, the metal in that. Look at the metal shavings right there. Yeah, that's not the, the engine's cooked. You can you can see the metal. She's she's done for. I was hoping we might be able to save this with some rod bearings, but the amount of that much metal in the pan, she might have some crankshaft damage. I mean, I guess the good news of this thing is the timing's intact. You can see the crank up through here. Not very well. 